Hello and uh, welcome back. So now we're going to try and find the equation of the line parallel to another line. So you should all know all about parallel lines, what their properties are, and you can, uh, if you know one line, how to know to get the gradient of another one that is also parallel. So let's try and do this question together. So first of all, we're going to find something that is parallel to something else. I need to find out what the end value of this is. So stop the video and see if you can work out what the end value of that is before you watch the rest of the video. Okay, so you've come back. So you've got a value for m. So let's see if you did it right. So if you've got this, you know that you need to make y the subject of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So this one disappears and this one appears here. I now need to get rid of the minus 3. So I'm going to divide everything by minus 3. Every little piece that we've got. Okay, minus 3 divided by minus 3 is 1, so I'm left with y. I'm going to do this part first. A negative divided by a negative is positive, And I'm going to put that towards the front and change its position. A positive divided by a negative is negative, so I've ended up with that as an equation. And as you know, the m value we're looking for is always next to the x variable. So if I go here, it's 4 thirds. Now I need to know what the parallel m is. Do you remember what it is? Stop the video, say what it is, then press go and check your answer. Okay, if this is the m value you've got, a line that's parallel to this one also has the same slope number. So it's also 4 thirds. Now we still need to find the equation of the line. And we're going to use the equation y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So we need our substitutions. So we already know we need the parallel m, which is 4 thirds. The x value I'm going to get from the coordinate. And the y value is its little partner there. Then I'm going to use my little friends uh, Peter and Paul. And so y is just y. Minus sign is a minus sign. Y1 is 1, M is 4 over 3, X is X and a minus sign is a minus sign, and the X1 is going to be replaced with the 4. Now I don't like the fractions, so I'm going to use some fraction blasting to get rid of the fraction straight away. So to do that, I have to times by the lowest common multiple of the denominators, but there's only 3 there. So if I times this side by 3, the 3s are going to divide into each other and become 1. So they become an invisible one. This I'm going to times out. So 3 times y is 3y. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Uh, we've said this here is just like that now. So this one's already tidied up. 4 times the x is 4x. 4 times minus 4 is minus 16. I'd like the y's to be on their own. So let's put that over there. The minus 3 is going to uh, now disappear by adding 3 to both sides. And I've just run out of a little bit of space. So the answer for this then is 3y equals 4x plus 19. But of course, you've probably got space and you've managed to put it underneath over there. I've made a mistake. Oh dear, I have made a mistake. Minus sign. I knew there was a mistake there. Let's just change that. I'm trying to do too much rushing. So, let's just tidy that up a little bit. 4x minus 16 plus 3. Minus 16 plus 3 is minus 13. So the final answer is 3y equals 4x minus 13. And I've got my equation of the line. But of course, I would put that underneath there. But I just ran out of space, and I'm worried that you won't see it in the video. Now, you're going to copy these into your notes in a moment, because sometimes when we get the equation aligned, the question actually asks you to leave it in a certain format. So let's look at that at the same time. So on here, they're asking you to turn this equation into slope-intercept form. So stop the video and see if you can do that. Okay, you should have said, well, we need to make y on its own. So to do that, I'm going to make the 3 disappear into an invisible 1 by divi uh, dividing both sides, everything, by 3 at the same time. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm left with y. 
here I'm quite happy to leave everything in fractions. I've managed to leave my answer in slow intercept form. Sometimes, annoyingly, they will ask you to leave it in standard form, which looks like this, AX plus BY equals C, with the X and Y on the same side. And if you notice, the X and Y are not on the same side here. But I can make that happen by making the 4X disappear here by subtracting 4X, but then I have to do it at the other side. This then leaves me just with minus 13. And I don't really want the X there, I like it at the front. So I'm gonna put that in front, and the plus 3y behind. Now it's still not quite that pretty because it's got a negative sign at the front there. I'd rather this was a positive number, but you can also do that. So for instance, let's get rid of the 13 first by minus 13 on both sides. Um, then we've got 3y minus 13 here, and I'm just left with 4x there. But I want the 3y to be with the 4x. So what I'll do is make the 3y disappear from this side. And how do I do that to make 3y disappear? I'm going to subtract 3y. And that means I have to subtract 3y on the other side. And then that's just going to leave us on this side, minus 13. And this, we just have to leave it as it is. Now, some people don't like it this way around as well. So they might write it this way around. But this is in standard form, and it's fine to leave it like that. That's in standard form. You could leave the answer like that. And this one is also in standard form. But if you compare this one to this one, what you'll notice is the coefficients are the opposite. And that's because they just rearranged it to the left or to the right. That's the only difference. This is more beautiful. And that one, just because the minus sign, and this is a positive sign at the front, I'm just going to tidy that up, and I think it looks very clear. That's 13. So out of all of them, I think that is the most pretty. So anyway, make sure you've copied the notes from this side and from the first side, and then you can uh, go back to the um, instructions, and it'll be time to do some questions.